Good evening, everyone. I'm going to call the Marion Township Reorganizational Meeting for your 2022 to order. The time is now 7.05 p.m. First order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. Everyone, please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This time we'll open the floor to public comments. If you have a public comment, please be sure to sign in on the paper at the front of the room and speak clearly into the microphone. Seeing no public comments and no participants on Zoom, we will move into the, the items of the agenda. First is to appoint the temporary chairman for or the organizational meeting. A motion to appoint myself as the chairman. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. <coughs> Next is to appoint the temporary secretary for the organizational meeting. A motion to uh, appoint Sue Stabi as the temporary secretary. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. At this time, I declare all offices vacant. Next, we will appoint the chairman of the board. I'll make a motion to appoint myself again this year. Second. <laughs> Who wants it? Jim. We'll take turns. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the vice chairman. I'll make a motion to appoint Irene again in 2022. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the part-time secretary. I'll make a motion to appoint Sue Stabi as the part-time secretary. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the part-time treasurer. I'll make a motion to appoint Irene Seleski. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the assistant treasurer. Make a motion to appoint Dan Klein. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the roadmaster. I'll make a motion to appoint Butch Troutman. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next, to appoint the township solicitor in 2021. This was attorney Andrew, Andrew George from Kozlov Stout. I'll make a motion to approve, uh, or excuse me, appoint Andrew George from Kozlov Stout again in 2022. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. <clears throat> Next is to appoint the Zoning Hearing Board Solicitor in 2021. This is Attorney Keith Mooney from Barley Snyder. I'll make a motion to appoint Attorney Keith Mooney from Barley Snyder for 2022. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the Financial Institution in 2021. This was Fulton Bank. I'll make a motion to appoint Fulton Bank as the in Financial Institution for 2022. Second. Irene, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> roll call, Peter. Hi. Oh my goodness. Okay. Irene. Hi. Jim. Hi. Next, to appoint Barbara A. Aikens, CPA from Aikens Accounting, to perform the financial audit for the year ending December 2021. This is resolution 2022-1. I'll motion to appoint Barbara A. Aikens and approve resolution 2022-1. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is to appoint the engineering firm. In 2021, this was McCarthy Engineering. I'll make a motion to appoint the engineering firm as McCarthy Engineering in 2022. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the building code officials and code enforcement officer in 2021. This was Craft Code Services. I'll make a, uh, a motion to appoint Craft Code Services as the building code officials and code enforcement officers in 2022. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. 
Next is to appoint the zoning officer. In 2021, this was Jim McCarthy from McCarthy Engineering. I'll make a motion to appoint Jim McCarthy, McCarthy Engineering, again for 2022 as the zoning officer. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the assistant zoning officer. 2021, this was Craft Code Services. I'll make a motion to appoint Craft Code Services again in 2022 as the assistant zoning officer. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the sewage enforcement officer. In 2021, this was Alan Madera from Berks and Virotech. I'll make a motion to appoint Alan Madera from Berks and Virotech again in 2022 as the sewage enforcement officer. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the alternate sewage enforcement officer. In 2021, this was Gary Erb, uh, Christopher Paff, and Matthew Mack. So there was a little bit of discussion around this as uh, Berks and Biotech has several people other than Alan who are able to function as the SEO. Um, I don't think there's really a limit on the number of alternates that we can appoint. Because we, so, normally we appointed two. Yeah. Um, last year we appointed three. I would say, do we have the names of the other two gentlemen from Berks and Biotech handy? Mm -hmm. Okay. What I'd like to do is I'd actually like to appoint the other two gentlemen from Berks and Biotech as the alternates, in addition to uh, Chris Path and, and uh, Matthew Mack, just, just in case. Okay, I'll make a motion to appoint alternate sewage enforcement officers for 2022 of Brian uh, Coborn Jr. from Berks and Virotech, Seth Bacon from Berks and Virotech, uh, Christopher Paff, and Matthew Mack. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is to appoint road crew employees. In 2021, this was Leon Brubaker, Donald Pike, Kevin Sadison, Richard Troutman Jr., David Stobby, Tony Brubaker, Ryan Allgaier, Franklin Troutman, Luke Troutman, David Patrick, Travis Oberholzer, Joshua Bellaman, and John Seleski. Uh, I'll make a motion to appoint. In Let, can I interject? You absolutely can. We have not gotten payroll packets from Ryan. I just emailed his. Okay. Luke Chapman, Dave Patrick, or Travis Overholzer. Okay. Let me let me highlight them and let's appoint them, but then we'll chase them about getting the the packets in. And do you need to be appointed to road crew? Uh, you know, it's actually not a bad idea considering I'm not the roadmaster yeah. anymore. So? Yes. Okay. okay. Let me make a note here. I want driving Patrick. <laughs> it's okay. You can yell at me. <laughs> you could say, I mean, that's 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 third. That's not first. Okay. So I'm gonna add Stop stalling me, it. Irene, and Jim on his road crew. Not that Jim's necessarily I'm gonna, gonna... I'm gonna be the assistant. Yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. say, hey, Butch, didn't you tell him to do that? <laughs> All this time you've been making nice with Butch for that reason. What was that, sir? Specifically have Roadmaster on here. Uh, Roadmaster, uh, we didn't, we, we appointed Roadmaster uh, on one of the previous ones. It was point number eight. So I just, just for the sake of good record keeping, we'll put the three okay. of us on there. So. I'll, I'll motion to appoint road crew for 2022 as Leon Brubaker, Donald Height, Kevin Sadison, Richard Troutman Jr., David Stobby, Tony Brubaker, Ryan Allgaier, Franklin Troutman, Luke Troutman, David Patrick, Travis Oberholzer, Joshua Bellaman, John Seleski, Peter McCarthy, Irene Seleski, and Jim Brooks. 
second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is to appoint Planning Commission. Uh, Claire Zimmerman is willing to serve another term. A motion to appoint Claire Zimmerman to the Planning Commission. Second. Irene. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is the Western Berks Planning Commission. Uh, we will need to appoint two members and an alternate. Um, at this point, I believe from last year, it was myself and Jim. Mm -hmm. Um, but Irene is the alternate. I don't know that we have anybody else who has expressed a willingness or interest. I believe it needs to be one of the supervisors. I believe it needs to be, be supervisors. It has to be supervisors. I okay. I thought it was at said. least one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's, that makes it a lot more simple. Mm -hmm. So I'll make a motion to appoint to the Western Berks, uh, planning commission, uh, myself, Peter McCarthy and Jim Brooks with the alternate as Irene Celeski. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Uh, with a note on that, there are going to be some meetings where the three of us will have to be at mm -hmm. for the purposes of, granted, Jim and I probably aren't going to split votes, but we'd have to be able to break a tie. Yeah. So. There's probably going to be one. So the I next thing, the next solar th forms things has to go for, before our planning commission first, yeah. then you guys. So that would be January. Mm -hmm. And then um, they're... Um, they had something for the They're going to be having... Um, probably a hearing sometime in February. Yeah. They had something that they said we're gonna they were gonna meet on the 18th about. I'd have to look back at my emails. Too. But um I know the the ordinance hasn't even gone out in front of the other no and things. I got an email saying um I think they want to discuss the solar farms things. But I said our yeah. planning commission meeting is I think that is that night. Yeah. So and then it has to go before you guys for a motion. Yeah. And then Andy wrote back and said it that's fine. It'll probably be a hearing will probably be scheduled in February. Sometime. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Jim and I already, I know, I'll let you know. Yeah. Jim and I already looked it over and lobbied some yeah. criticism at it. Okay. So, <clears throat> okay. Uh, next is to appoint the vacancy at the zoning hearing board. This was previously Nelson Troutman and he is willing to serve another term. I'll make a motion to appoint Nelson Troutman to the zoning hearing board. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the vacancy board chairman. This is a one-year term. In 2021, this was Nancy Carrington. She is willing to serve another term. I'll make a motion to appoint Nancy Carrington as the vacancy board chairman for 2022. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. The next is the historical board appointment. We have no persons holding any, any position on that board. Uh, we made the decision previously to shutter that. So we will be making no appointment. And uh, so I'm not sure what we have to do to officially remove that from, gonna... no, we'll, we'll check with Andy, but. Um, why don't you make a motion to remove it that way? It's kind of like. Okay, well, yeah. uh, we'll see. We'll see what, if that carries water, but I'll make a motion to remove the historical board appointment from future uh, organizational meetings. Second, Sadly. Yeah. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. <clears throat> yeah, just for understanding, we can appoint committees and boards and things I like know. that. And yeah. it just it had nobody on it and yeah. they weren't doing anything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that, that particular board was only set up. It was something for Charming Forge. For Charming it? Forge area. Yeah. Hmm. For the Charming Forge Mansion. And that was. The ones where it's sale and stuff yeah. years and years ago. Yeah. <clears throat> Next is to appoint the emergency management coordinator. In 2021, this was John Seleski, who is willing to continue to serve. I'll make a motion to appoint John Seleski as the emergency management coordinator. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Epstein. Jim. Aye. Can I ask you a question before the next yes. item? Um, well, I'm asking, Jim, do you want to be the alternate rights now officer? I was actually going to ask that same thing. <laughs> I'll show you the ropes. It's yeah. not that hard. Yeah, it's mostly Most just looking time. stuff up. Yeah. This way you could get a little bit more familiar with 
stuff. Not, not to mention, you can always yeah. rope me in if you need me. Yeah. Okay, next is to appoint the emergency management coordinator. And, oh, or, excuse me, or, thank you, uh, yeah. jumped up a line. Uh, appoint the right to know records officer and alternate in 2021. This was Irene Seleski and Peter McCarthy as the alternate. Um, I'd like to make a motion to appoint Irene Seleski as the primary right to know officer and Jim Brooks as the alternate. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is the supervisor mm -hmm. liaison appointments. Uh, first one is the liaison to the planning commission. In 2021, this was, was me. Uh, I'm willing to continue to serve in that capacity. Um, I'll make a motion to appoint Peter McCarthy as the liaison to the planning commission. Second. <laughs> Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is the liaison to the zoning hearing board. Last year, this was Jim Brooks. I'll make a motion to appoint Jim Brooks again. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. <laughs> okay. Next is the liaison to the police department. Last year, this was me. I'll make a motion to appoint Peter McCarthy as the liaison to the police department. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is the liaison for the township building and playground. Last year, this was Jim. Uh, Jim, do you have an interest in serving that capacity again this year? Sure. Okay. Make a motion to appoint Jim Brooks as the liaison to the township building and playground. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the current per capita tax collection, uh, which was Eileen Height as the tax collector of Marion Township uh, in 2021. I'll make a motion to appoint Eileen Height again in 2022. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. <clears throat> okay. The appointment of delinquent per capita tax collection last year was Element Statewide Tax Recovery, LLC. Make a motion to once again appoint Element Statewide Tax Recovery LLC as the delinquent per capita tax collection agency. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next. <clears throat> yeah, it's not many do municipal stuff. Those are the ones that we get. Usually yeah. the people dying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they the want weird, a waiver. The weird checks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next is to appoint the Chief Administrative Officer for Marion Township Pension Plan in 2021. This was Irene. We will need to appoint this via Resolution 2022-2. Uh, Irene, are you willing to serve in that capacity again? Yes. Okay. I'll make a motion to appoint Irene Seleski as the Chief Administrative Officer for Marion Township's Pension Plan. Second. I get that cool title. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. I forgot to say it. I'm going to make a motion to uh, approve resolution 2022 2. Oh, no, wait. I, oh, shoot. This is two. What was one? What was the resolution one? Uh, resolution number one was. Wait, hold on. Let's scroll up a little bit. Uh, appoint Barbara A. Aiken, CPA, Aiken's Accounting. It was the, uh, the auditor. What number is it? Uh, that's 2020, or number, number 12 on the agenda. Okay. I don't have them both in my folder and I don't, so I'll make sure you all sign up. Yeah, we'll, we'll sign it before we <clears throat> but, uh, This one's two. So motion to approve uh, resolution 2022-2. Wait, where are we here? Uh, we're on number 30. All right, got it. Okay. Anybody second? Yeah, we're done. Oh, no, no, I-, I The resolution. Yeah, we gotta approve the resolution. I forgot to say that in the, the original motion. Second. Oh, no, wait, what? Yeah, so I, I appointed, to, I appointed Irene in the first resolution. motion, but I didn't actually say anything about approving resolution 2020. Oh. Yeah. So I, I, I motioned, Jim seconded. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Okay. Next is to set the employee pay rates in 2021. Secretary was $20 per hour. Treasurer was 18 per hour. Road crew workers were 18 per hour. 
uh, and the elected auditor should set the treasurer rate if they're a supervisor. We could have some discussion about uh, We this. absolutely can. I'd, in every year that we've been yeah. on the board, we've tried to keep up with uh, yeah. cost of living and any other inflationary items. I'd like to see us keep that trend. We certainly have it within the budget based on where we came in last year and where we've budgeted for this year. Yep. I'd like to give the secretary, uh, the treasurer and the road crew a small uh, bump in pay. We just need to decide what that actually translates yeah. to. Thank I don't you. I don't take any money, so it doesn't matter to yeah. me. Um, it's the problem for the most part is road crew because mm -hmm. you can't you can't get anyone else. Yeah. 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 I'd like no to yeah. No, it, it's it's hard to find yeah. people that are interested yeah. in doing the work. So I'd like to see us do like twenty two an hour for the secretary, nineteen for the treasurer, and like nineteen or nineteen fifty for the road crew. The so the 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 treasurer rate will be set by well it's it's we have to set it yep. because yep. conceivably you could right. have a situation right. where like Dan is the alternate treasurer yep. where we're setting his rate. Gotcha. Or if you step down or anything like that, yep. or you, you know what I mean. Yep. So secretary uh, twenty two. Mm -hmm. Treasurer, what'd you say? Uh treasurer, I'd like to do nineteen. Okay. Road crew. Uh nineteen. Eighteen. Jim, what's your opinion? <clears throat> well, what's your opinion? This is something that yeah, we're discussing. Let's say, let's, this is what we're discussing. Uh, I'd like to see us give it a raise. Yeah. The In prior are, years, it was about yeah. 50 cents, but I know <clears throat> yeah. it might might help entice people. And if it's a little bit higher. So you want to propose 19? I'd like to propose 19. I'm open to discussion around that. Well, I just assume make it 20 and we'll make it easier to calculate. <laughs> I mean, if, if the budget can support it. Can yeah, that. I'm pretty sure based on what we budgeted in less, I'm trying to think here, because I did a lot, I did actually do a lot of number crunching yeah. around this. Um, do you want to copy the budget? No, 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 no it's some um, sipping through my head. Very, very it all depends yeah. on yeah. snowstorms, really, yeah. honestly. And yeah. we actually have a separate budget for like emergency snow removal, so we should. Yeah. Right. You should have it in the budget without right. issue. Because our problem is 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 retaining people and attracting yeah. new people and attracting some younger individuals, which we're just not getting. Yeah. Because our road crew's aging out. Yeah. And Thankfully, yeah. Luke and Josh and Travis are I'm pretty yeah. sure Travis is younger. I don't know how old Travis I mean, actually is, but um we have a little bit of interest from some younger folks, but uh right. from a from a monetary standpoint. We should have the money in in the budget for the normal road yes. crew wages, as well as like the snow and ice yes. removal. I I agree with Jim. I think we should do twenty dollars an hour for road crew, and by virtue of none of us taking any income, yeah, with regards to any of the services that we perform for the township. So that's a huge cost savings mm -hmm. over the the time that we're in office. Um, so I don't have any problems bringing that up to twenty dollars an hour. Okay. Well, the butch has a new title. Do we want to consider giving him some of the money? Do we set? No, that's always. Master? No, that's always been. I, I know when my dad was supervisor and road master road crew. Um, he had one rate for the road work, and then one rate for like when he did building maintenance, which was lower. I think. That's, we just call it road crew. Yeah, I think we should leave it at 20 um, an hour. Unfortunately, just because it makes it easier for payroll, everything else, you know. And even when prior supervisors were road masters, masters and road crew, mm -hmm. you know, actually went out and just plowed snow and stuff, um, they just got the same. Yes, they okay. did. Well, they, they actually, I think, got 50 cents more. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. It was 50 cents more. more. Did they? I know this by the okay. virtue of oh. some of the stuff with Peter Wallace. Any of the, the road yeah, okay. work I've ever done, I've never put in time for, okay. so I've never actually gotten paid for it. But it's yeah, it is right. a separate so rate that's set by the auditors. Yeah. All right, then. So if you want to delineate all that, you can. I mean, do we do we want to? The only difference would be he'd have to put a different rate on his time card. That's really functionally it. Well, no, I just need to know the rate when I call the payroll. Oh, when yeah. I email the payroll okay. in. I think he should get a little bit more for dealing with it. Okay. You yeah. want to do 21 for, for yes. a master? Yes. Okay. You want to make a motion? Make sure you say yes. I'd like to make a motion to set the 
rate of $21 per hour in specifically for the um, road crew master. Road master. Road master. Road master yeah. 21. Is that what you said? $21. Do you want to just set up set all at once? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. So let me let me restate that motion. Wait, let me just go from the bottom up then. Roadmaster right. 21. Roadmaster $21 an hour. Road crew $20 an hour. Treasurer, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Wait, I don't know. Road crew $20 an hour. All right. Treasurer. Yep. $20 an hour. Yep. And secretary $22 an hour. Yes. Yeah. Treasurer 20 Yeah. It would really only apply to Dan. And Dan has one for Roadmaster. Yeah. Dan hasn't been filling out a timesheet either. So. Buy Happy Meal every week. All right. Yeah. Okay. So Irene made a motion. I'll second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. <laughs> yeah. and, and which which will never see any of it. Is there something wrong with that? No. Wrong with that? <laughs> okay. they, in fact, they told me the other day they're going to give me a 10 times my, my rate this year. I yeah. said, well, 10 times zero is zero, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next is to set the snow emergency contractor's pay rate. In 2021, we hired farmers at a rate of $18 per hour on payroll and rented their equipment for a $57 per hour charge, totaling $75. Um, I think this is still adequate based on time and uh, the, the use and fuel on their equipment. There was some discussion at one of the, the prior meetings where some of the farmers were asking for more, but I think $57 an hour for a rental is still sufficient. Um, so I'll make a motion to who set the uh, snow emergency contractor pay rate for 2022 as $18 per hour on payroll and the rental of equipment at $57 per hour. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. <clears throat> Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is the Board of Supervisors meeting pay rate and road work rate. In 2021, a motion was made to set the pay rate at $60 <clears throat> per member per meeting to be paid quarterly and $18.50 for road work. Um, the elected auditors have to set this at their meeting tomorrow night. However, we make the suggestion and then they review accordingly. Um, I'd like to keep, see us keep our pay rate the same for the meetings. This is something that we've not increased uh, the entire time that I've been on the board and I'd like to keep it that way. Um, and as for the road work, um, I don't ever put in for time, so it's kind of a moot point, but just for the sake of matching, I would say let's set that to 20 as well. Um, so motion to set the Board of Supervisors uh, meeting and pay rate and road work rate as the suggestion for the auditors to be $60 per member per meeting to be paid quarterly and $20 per hour for road work. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to set the hourly rates for equipment. In 2021, a motion was made to set the hourly rates for Marion Township equipment rental by other municipalities uh, with a Marion Township operator as listed. Rater, $50 per hour. John Deere tractor and loader, 301. With or without attachments, $50 per hour. John Deere tractor and loader, 210. $50 per hour. Truck and snow plow, $75 per hour. John Deere tractor, 6230, with or without attachments, $100 per hour. Greater and V plow, $75 per hour. Ford F550 dump truck, $50 per hour. Ford F550 truck and snow plow, $75 per hour. Truck and spreader, uh, stone is extra charge, $75 per hour. Uh, we should probably add the, the new John Deere on there. I don't remember what the model number is off the top of my head, do you? I think it is. Yeah. I think he wants to think I think now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a motion. Uh, unless I think we should charge the hour. No, 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 no. I just need for the ones that are on there. No, I think I'm fine. With okay. That. And then if we add the, the 310 SL, I would say like 100 or $150 per hour. Yeah, I have a question on the new one. Is it ever insured? Yes. It's, yes. On, it's on our insurance. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, it's absolutely insured. So what do you want to make the new one? Uh, I'm thinking either like 100 or 150. 150. 150. Okay. Uh, so um, and just to keep, just to let you know, too, the equipment rental um, is with our road crew operator. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And if we have a twenty dollars an hour charge. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, just yeah. wanted to yep. verify that. Yep, absolutely. You don't want to raise that at all, not even 6% like the police did to us? Nobody. Nobody ever uses it. And that's, that's my question. Do we want to maybe, do we want to leave it at like 50 or do we want to make it 55 or 60 for each one of the 50s? Like, it, again, nobody ever utilizes yeah. this, but it would it would still cover costs. I mean, it's just, I it's guess true. it's just to have it in writing on paper. Yeah, yeah. yeah just this, in case. this would be if like Tulpa okay. Hawken or somebody needed to rent equipment, rent equipment from us mm -hmm. and use push for the day um so uh sue do you want me to rattle off all of those again or just no, say that we're just the new one okay i'd like to set the rate for the new john deere uh backhoe the 310 sl at 150 dollars per hour and then if you want to make a motion to uh, okay we got we do want me to do all at once it's separate well just if you just want to say and to approve all existing rates yeah, from 2021 like that, yeah. okay <laughs> Ever. There we are. Second minute. Wait, oh, Wait, so Irene second it. Roll yep. call, Peter. Hi. Hi. So cooperative projects, like what we did with Spur Road, not really applicable. However, this is what would give them the cost when they're filling out the grant with like the DCNR for how much your time actually costs and the equipment actually costs. That they could say, okay, the 310 SL is $150 per hour. So it, it helps with that whole in-kind contribution thing. Yeah, that, that doesn't say that they couldn't call us up and say, hey, we have a project that we're working on, we need to rent something. And this is where we would fall back to what the rates are. Yep, yeah, yeah. As always, if you have any questions, just give us a call. Um, next is to set the municipal building and pavilion rental rates. Uh, the 2021 rates were AA group, $15 per day or $30 per week, if they met twice a week. The Grange, $15 per day, meeting once a month. The regular room rental, $40 per day. Uh, pavilion, $25 per day. Um, I'd like to I, see- I, I don't see AA coming back. I was gonna say, I'd like to see, see more people- I don't see Grange coming back. Yeah. However, if they do- Yeah, I, I'd like to see them come back. So I'd like to set the rates accordingly. Um, for AA and Grange, I'd like to leave it at $15 per day because that's more of a- um, uh, civic outreach mm -hmm. sort of thing. Uh, the regular room rental, I would say, let's make it 50 bucks. And for the pavilion, $25 per day. And again, it's first come first serve. You don't have to reserve it, but if you do reserve it, then you obviously get priority. Mm -hmm. So I'll make a motion to set the municipal building and pavilion rental rates for 2022 as AA group, $15 per day or $30 per week. Grange, $15 per day. Regular room rental, $50 per day. Pavilion, $25 per day. Second. Roll call, Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi, Jim. Hi. <clears throat> Next is to set the mileage rate. Uh, 2022 IRS rate is 58.5 cents. Um, do we want to do the half cent or do we want to just round that up to 59? That's what I, IRS recommends. I, I know, they can recommend it. We can go higher. You can. Well, what happens is anytime I do it on the computer, I have to round it up anyway. Yeah. So if the IRS is recommending it, I mean, that's kind of be Yeah, I think yeah. the half cents is more of a pain than anything else, so. We don't get that many miles. I know we don't, yeah. I know we don't, but I'd say either 59 or 60. I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, but what are your what are your thoughts, Aaron and Jim? It doesn't matter to me if it's 50.5 or 59, but it gets rounded up anyway, so. Yeah. You know, leave it for 59 cents. I yeah, I, I, I just think it's gonna be yeah. easier. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 So I'll make a motion to set the mileage rate for 2022. It's 59 cents per mile. Second. Roll call, Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Jim. Hi. <clears throat> okay. Next is the PSATS convention 2022. Nominate the voting delegate for Marion Township 2021. This was Susan Stobby. Um, Sue, if you're interested or willing to do that again. Well, just to let you know that I saw on the PSATS information, um, voting delegate must be a supervisor, manager, secretary, 
or treasure. Okay, so that's can't be road trail. Yeah, <coughs> I just checked that out because I probably won't go to the convention. But I mean, you can still appoint me, and yeah, I'm yeah. not going. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion to appoint Sue Stabi as the voting delegate for Marion Township at the PSATS convention 2022. I'm going to say secretary. Secretary. Thank you. Yep. Seconds. <clears throat> Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is the Berks County Convention 2022. In 2021, a motion was made to authorize attendance, hourly compensation, and mileage of board supervisor, board of supervisors, secretary, treasurer, and to authorize attendance and a $50 compensation and mileage for elected auditors and tax collector. Um, I don't have any objections to doing the same thing again this year. Fifty dollars. Yeah. yeah, we had a little problem with that with the yeah. accounting this year. I'll second that. Was there a motion? I'll, I'll oh, make sorry. the motion. Sorry. Yeah, it's I, kind of like we went, we went over. So yeah, I yeah I'll, we'll call we'll call what I said a motion, and Irene seconded it. Okay. <laughs> Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. The question about number thirty-nine. Okay, so thirty-nine is the treasurer and assistant treasurer's bond amount. 2021, this was uh, a bond amount set at 900,000 for our insurance representatives. Each person handling money should be bonded. So, Irene. Yes, the question is, there's currently more in assets in our accounts than that. And I don't know what it was in prior years. Does that bond need to be increased? It's in prior years, it's never been the full amount of assets that we have, right. even, even the liquid ones. Yeah. Um, we're not to increase our bonds. Yeah, price. we're we're slightly high right yeah. now because of the the stuff that's in the road fund. Yep. And we're especially higher than normal because of the uh, ARP, ARP funds, money. Yeah. Um, that's about a half million that we had sitting there between the road work stuff and yep. everything else. So. I mean, um, I know it's like a catch-all when it comes to responsibility and problems, and you you never want to call on a bond. I guess just. I guess forward thinking, and I guess we'll have to see how it is in the next year. Yeah. I, so, I mean, we, if we increase it to a million dollars for the bond, it's going to be a difference of about a hundred dollars a year per bonded person. So between you and Dan, it would be yeah. about $200. Um, yeah. And I, you could always just do this now. And, and then, then we could always amend it. it. Yeah. yeah. We'll change yeah. like later yeah. throughout the year if you want right. to check out the prices. Because yeah. I know liquid fuels funding is, is decreasing. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I did hear something earlier today that there's something else that the state is doing that will actually increase some funding for roads and stuff. But liquid fuels itself is going to decrease significantly. And we're, I guess we're going to see less revenue coming in because of lack of lack construction. Of so. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I yeah. think nine hundred thousand is probably okay. okay. Generally speaking, you're not going to have a situation where somebody cleans out every single account. I'm not saying it's not possible, but right. it's just unlikely. Yeah. So either by error, by omission, by fraud or theft, yeah. you're probably not going to be looking at that much yeah. omission. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Thank you. So. Okay, I'm okay with that. Then. Okay, I'll make a motion to set the treasurer and assistant treasurer's bond amount at nine hundred thousand. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is to set the Board of Supervisors meeting dates. In 2021, we have made a motion to set the Board of Supervisors meeting dates for the last Thursday of each month, uh, with the exception of a couple of months like November and December and the holidays, um, with the workshop being held uh, the Saturday before, with the exception of like November and December based around the, the holidays. So let's... Uh, Let's open up the calendar. The calendar, the yep. calendar. So let's look at the calendar. Don't think we have any overlap. Do you want a big calendar? Jim trusts us for the calendar. I don't think we have any overlap on holidays between Saturday and the last Thursday. Well, and that's like if you exception. read that last sentence. Yeah. I, Thank, I mean, yep. Thanksgiving is always going to be the last Thursday, Thursday yeah. November. So th November is always messy. Yeah. So, but then Christmas, Christmas is on a Sunday. Christmas Eve is on a Saturday. Yeah. So that would be, we have 
the workshop on the 17th and the meeting on the 22nd. So you could do it the same as this year if you yeah. wanted to. Yeah, we can do December yeah. normal. So yeah. that would just be the uh, well, November be. would be the only one that would be the, the oddball. Oh. Well, no, you would have to do these if you want to do this seven. Normally, our meeting would be the 29th and then workshop would be the 24th. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Yeah. So you're right. So, so it'd be the 17th this year and 22nd. We would yeah. Workshop up. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah. I mean, so if you just... want to have it the 24th, you can. I won't no, 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 no. I'm not I'd, coming. No, I'd, I'd prefer not to. Um, <laughs> so, working. so, November and December, are then the oddballs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, pop it up a week. Yeah. So the 17th and the 22nd for December and the uh 12th and the 17th for november okay make a motion to set the supervisors uh meeting dates for 2022 at the Board of Supervisors meeting last Thursday of every month at 7 p.m., with the exception of November, which would be November 17th, and December, which would be December 22nd. No. No? No, if you have the board meeting. Did I say that wrong? <laughs> so November would be... So November, do you want to do it like this year and have the meeting Wednesday? You had the meeting. No, you moved it up a week, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. The seventeenth uh, and the twelfth. Yeah. So it'd be the board of supervisors meeting would be the seventeenth of November. And the workshop the twelfth. Yep. And then December, the like 20th. this year, we had it. So you would do the 29th and then the seventeenth. Uh, do you want? Do you want to do it the 29th, or do you That's want to do it the twenty twenty second? I'd rather do the 22nd. Because I mean, we, we can split a week like that, or we can just, we can move it because the, the 24th is the real, right. is the real hold up there. I'd rather do the 17th and 22nd. Okay. Because you're having November's early too. Yeah. So it's, it's yeah, it just gives me a little bit extra time. I'm sorry, okay. especially if I go. Okay. Okay, what's November then? Uh, the Board of Supervisors was 11 17. Yeah. Up to you. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. Do, that way. I, do you want to do the 22nd or do you want to do the 29th? No, the 22nd. 22nd? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Original motion stands then. Okay. So say, just say it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll make a motion to set the Board of Supervisors meeting dates for 2022 to the last Thursday of each month at 7 p.m. with the exception of November, which will be held on November the 17th and December, which will be held on December the 22nd. Okay. And then. Do you want. Um, you got to say the workshop meetings. Uh, okay. I was going to say, do you want to do that separate or together? Um, no, do it together. Work, workshop meetings uh, held the. Is it the third Saturday, Saturday or the Saturday it's prior to the. Saturday okay. before the Okay. Saturday prior to the Board of Supervisors workshop meeting, with the exception of November, which would be November the 12th, and December, which would be December the 17th at 9 a.m. Then I could take a little calendar and highlight it, All right? Okay. Yeah. Because okay. you're second. Second. Roll call, Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. <laughs> Jim. Hi. Okay. Hi. Let's see. Okay. Next is to set the Planning Commission meeting dates. 2021, a motion was made to set the Planning Commission meeting dates for 2021 as the third Tuesday of each month at 7.30 p.m. as needed to be held in the Municipal Building. So this is back at 7.30 or 7 that the Planning Commission is set. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. That's fair. Make a motion to set the planning commission meetings for 2022 as the third Tuesday of each month at 7:30 p.m. Second. Roll call. Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. All right. Okay. Final item on the agenda for this evening is to set the holiday schedule for the township office. In 2021, a motion was made to set the holiday schedule for the township office to include President's Day, Primary Election Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day as a floating holiday, Labor Day, Election Day, Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and New Year's Day. 
Uh, we also opted to uh, afford five floating holidays to the secretary and treasurer. In 2022, primary election day is May 17th. Election day is November 24th. Christmas Eve is on a Saturday. You may want to consider giving a floating holiday for. And Christmas Day is a Sunday. Yes, I'm all for it. Yes, I'm all for it. Yes, I'm it's, it's it's July 4th because that falls on a, does it fall on the, on a Monday always yeah. or something you know mm -hmm. yeah and then the December ones and absolutely you um, get to decide and pick I mean if you want to generally um, if Christmas is on a Sunday it's observed Monday if it's on a Saturday it's observed Friday whatever you it's want kind of up to you you want to say floating and I can just take off whichever day I want. Exactly. You. I'm, I'm all for floating home. Because <clears throat> you know what your workload is and you know what your plan is. And December are. is awful. Yeah. Anyway, so so, so <laughs> we'll, I would prefer to leave it as a floating holiday and let you make the determination the closer we get to the holiday. Okay. Good enough. There's other, so many other circumstances as we've seen the past two years mm -hmm. that, that throw curveballs our way. Yeah. I'll let you decide those days. That's up to her. She well, she has, she has yeah. five. Last year, she had five floating holidays to do yeah. exactly that if she so chose. Yeah. Well, I mean, you normally gain me Christmas Eve and Christmas Day yeah. as a yeah. holiday. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's if you just want to say it's floating, then I'll probably just take off right now. Yeah, like whatever yeah. you want to do. That's fine. <laughs> it just depends on how much work there is, too. Yeah, like, you know, know. And you try to be conscious of that. You know? Anyway. You've been here at five, six o'clock sometimes, and you don't put in any yeah, hours. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so if we if we do just the holidays that are on Monday through Friday dates, and go five floating holidays, that would be thirteen holidays through the course of the year. Sure. So, uh, I'll make a motion to set the holiday schedule for the township office as President's Day, Primary Election Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Election Day, Thanksgiving Day. New Year's Day, and five floating holidays to the Secretary and Treasurer. So what about Christmas Eve and Christmas Day? Uh, Christmas Eve is on a Saturday. Christmas Day is a Sunday. Yeah, but I've gotten that as a holiday before. Yeah, but you've also gotten things like Independence Day as a floating holiday when it's on No, the I only put that on here as a floating day holiday because in well, 2021 it was, it was, it was on the weekend. weekend. That's what I'm saying. Christmas and Christmas Eve are on the weekend this year. Okay, well then tell me uh, how many floating holidays I have. Are we in objection to five? No, not at all. Well, no, no I get five. Get, she gets like, five this is basically five. So she should get five seven. vacation days. They just oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 That's, that's a misunderstanding on Sorry. vernacular on my part. I would say let's do the uh, seven floating holidays then. I'll, I'll reword that. Wait. I'm... Yeah. Yeah, they just call my five vacation yeah. days floating holidays. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's bizarre. You can call them something different if you want. Yeah. So. Just a day on Independence Day. Uh, Independence Day is, I think, on a Monday? It's, it's on a Monday. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. checked. I yeah. checked the only ones that wouldn't be would be Christmas. Yeah, the only, because I actually just went through and quick highlighted this, the only two that are not on weekdays out of that list are Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Yeah. So. Well, New Year's Day. Uh, New Year's well, is yeah. actually, I think, on a Sunday. New Year's. Or Saturday, excuse Sunday. me. Sunday. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, New Year's Eve is See, on I put Saturday. That, so technically this this past New Year's was on last year's. Yeah. Because our year doesn't technically start until today. Until yeah. your meeting. That's when everything starts. Yeah. So it should be eight. Does should that make sense? Should be eight. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do eight. I was confused about that for a couple of years. Yeah. No, I, I looked I think Because technically everybody's money. term starts to at reorg meeting. Everybody's First day of the year starts at reorg meeting. Yeah, so that that one's on me. I clicked. I was actually in 2023 when like, I I'm not when trying I to get extra days, but yeah. Sue, you're here all the time. Yeah. You, no, you you, you I put in a lot. Of, kids. <laughs> you, yeah. You do stuff that. Not to mention yeah. if that's your your essentially yeah. the floating holidays or your vacation days. Like, yeah. 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 You should you should have yeah. more than yeah. five on that. Yeah. 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 I mean, you guys so, are gracious and give me off when I want a day off. So yeah. Without pay. When when do you get take off when you're sick? 
Come on. Yeah. Every now and then I take days off. Not really. Yeah. It's, it's you and so it's you and far between. I see the text message yeah. change, but um, anyway, so what we're we're shooting for is uh, the list and eight floating holidays. Okay. Floating holidays, for the record, being time off, vacation days, sick days, etc. For secretary and treasurer. Do you want to call them uh, vacation days? I would actually prefer to call them vacation right, that's days. That's fine with me. The prior boards just wanted to. Now, I think that's a silly, silly use of the term. Yeah, um, I, I agree. So well, what we'll do. I, was all, I guess that's why I was confused. Yeah, so we're, we're going to set the record straight. <laughs> Go, we can start over. <laughs> okay, 10. She worked pretty hard. Here. No. It doesn't yeah, put in time. So, time. Sue, just Sue if, if you started somewhere, anywhere else, you'd probably get two weeks of paid time off. I know. So this, <laughs> this is. A, you got a nice yeah. I did. Yeah. yeah. I but did. I mean, in the grand scheme yeah. of things, Kelly, like I, I know I have a ton of like paid time off at work. And I'd imagine like if you where you're at, you probably have sick Maybe days. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like sick yeah. days, sick days, vacation days. And I really don't like the floating holidays because I, I actually forgot what, what that actually was there for a, a hot minute. Are we allowed to give her sick days? Are we allowed oh, what I would say is just give her a, a pool of 10 like sick and vacation days. Just call it paid time off. Yeah. Yes, paid so. time off. Thank you. I agree. Yeah. So I'll make a motion first to remove the terminology of five floating holidays and in, and replace it with 10 paid vacation days for the secretary. Second that motion. It was a uh, paid vacation days. 10. Yeah, I mean paid time off, paid vacation. Yeah, can can the motion reflect paid time off instead of paid vacation? I can change that. Yeah. Thank you. PTO. PTO. Got it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, call Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi, Jim. Hi. Thank you. In terms of the treasurer, uh, treasurer doesn't have to be in every here every single day, just for the formality of. If somebody were actually to invoke it, I would say let's set it, let's keep it at five paid time off days for the treasurer. Um, I could be here every day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Second, anybody? Second. We'll call Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Oops. Jim. Right. Okay. Okay. And then finally, to set the holiday schedule for the township office, uh, I'd like to make the motion to set the holiday schedule for 2022 as President's Day, Primary Election Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Election Day, and Thanksgiving Day. What about Christmas? Let's. because uh, we're on the weekend. We can take a vacation day. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, she, Irene was asking about Christmas Eve and stuff like that. And I said, it's on the weekend. If you want to take off together. I know, but it's not on the weekend every year. No, no, no. That's but, but for 2022, saying. that's what I'm worried about. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not worried about 2023 yet. We're not there yet. Okay. So. <laughs> Second. Roll call, Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Jim. Hi. Yeah, like I know with. Okay. With me at work, we get off anytime the Fed closes. Yeah. And that varies from year to year depending on where the holidays are. Yeah. So you obviously still get the same paid okay. time off. And that's, I think, one of the crucial things about okay. separating that and uncoupling that a little better is so that every year you get the same paid time off as part of your compensation. Okay, yeah. And then depending on how the holidays fall, you might have seven, you might have eight, you might have 10. Yeah. It, it, it all depends. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, that's good. okay. That's the final item on the meeting. So I'll make a motion to adjourn. The time is now 7.58 PM. Second. Roll call, Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Jim. Hi. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.